Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which we are going to talk about rational operators and true and false in C. Now, in C, any number that is not equal to zero is considered a true value. 5 is true, minus 12 is true, 4000 is true. As long as the value is not zero, then it will be treated as true. Regarding false, if the number equivalent to zero, then it will be treated as false. But you need to know that if there is a statement in C that returns true, the compiler is free to choose the value of the true with the rule that it must be any number except zero. This is a good piece of information that you must keep in mind when dealing with relational operators and logical operators. Now, relational operators are basically operators that check equality or not equality or more than or equal, less than or equal, and these things. They are used in if statements or conditional statements that we will cover later. So relation operators checks the relationship between two values by determining whether it's true or false. Now, if x, okay, let's go back. If x equals 10 and y equals 5, like in this statement. This is a question checks if x equals y. This statement will return either true or false. Now, since x and y are not equal, it will return false. And you already mentioned that false equals zero. Now, if we went to not equal, this is a sign. Now, this will check not equality. So if x is not equal to y, it will return true. And since x is 10, y is 5, then this will return true. The third one is a statement that will check a more than. So it will check if x is more than y. And x here is 10, it's more than y, which is 5. So this will return true as well. This will check more than or equal. So if x is more than or equal, it will return true. And it is more than y. So this will also check as true. Here it will check if x is less than y, which is not true. So it will be false. This will check if x is less than or equal y. And this is not true, so it will check as false. You need to take a note. If you want to test and print a false value, it will print zero. However, if you test to print true value, the value is chosen by the compiler. Frequently, it is either 1 or 255. We will check this in a minute once we reach the practical section of this lesson. Now, let's move on to the logical operators. The ones that we covered here are called rational operators or relational operators. Here, we have the logical operators. Now, the logical operators are used in applying logical operations between two values, in which each are considered either true, which is not zero, or false, which is zero. So, we have the logical and. As you can see here, the logical AND is written by writing two ANDs. The logical OR is written by writing two OR signs. Now, now the logical NOT, now the logical NOT in here, X equals NOT 4. Since 4 is true, because it doesn't equal 0, then not true equals false. Then x 
equals zero. Now to test this out, let's explain the logical AND and OR before moving to the practical section. Now here we have three, which is true. We have zero, which is false. And we know that if there is true, which is one, and false, which is zero, in the AND operator, then the result will be zero from the truth table that we discussed earlier. Now here, zero means zero, which is false. Three means true, which is one. And one and zero, when it comes to the OR function, it will give us one. So it will be either one or 255, which interprets as true. In this case, four is true and not true equals false, which equals zero. These are the logical operators and the ones before them were the relational operators. Now let's see how we can implement them inside our compiler. Let's first include the library. and write void main void. Now in here, change the language to C, and let's start writing the lines. I will print them directly inside the printf function. So here we will deal with each of them. So let's say that we want to start with the equal, x equal equal y let's define x and y as the two variables now x equal equal y will result in will equal percentage d and we will add the result in here so we will add x equal equal y now you can either do this or you can simply cut this, create a new variable here, let's call it m, and add the value inside m, then print m here. But to reduce the number of lines inside our code, I will use this instead and save one line. That's it. Now save. Let's call it logic rational operate. Now let's copy this line, paste it here. We need six lines for the six rational operators, and we need three lines for the logical operators. So this will be x and and, and here and and as well. This will be or or, and this will be not x. So it will be the same here, not x. Now here it will be equal equal, not equal. Uh, it will be greater than, greater than or equal, less than, less than or equal same here greater than i'm writing the same things that we just saw on the table just to see how the result will print so add slash n here make sure that each of these lines will be printed separately in a new line now that's it Let's see if it will print out or not, and we can fix an issue when we have any. Now GCC in logic rate operation.c. Now a.exe. As you can see, here we have the true and false. Now let's check them out. 
x equal equal y, so they are not equal, it will be false, which is 0. x not equal y, it will be true, which is 1. x is greater than y, true, 10 is greater than 5, so it will be 1. S is greater or equal than y, that is also true, it will equal 1. X is less than y, it's false, so 0. X is less than or equal y, it's false, so 0 again. X and and y. Now we already mentioned that and and y will ask if x is true and y is true. Now x equals 10, which is true y equals 5 which is true there are none of them equals 0 so true and true will equal true now regarding the or operation x is equals 10 and y equals 5 now we have an error here it's printing 0 because we haven't changed this in here so we need to change it save the code again Go back, clear, sorry, clear, combine, then run, and here it is, true or true equals true, now not x, since x equals 10, which is true, not true equals false, and these, the first six here, are the logical, sorry, the relational operators, and the last three are the logical operators. That's it. We are done with the operators in C. If you have any question about any of these operators, I'll be more than happy to help answer all of your concerns and questions. Just ask. Thanks for watching this lesson. This is Ashraf from Educational Engineering Team.